can't. <sighs> They're so frozen. On a brisk morning, we started our journey to Banner Ridge Yurt. It's one of six yurts people can reserve and stay overnight in but getting to the yurt is half the battle. I'm looking out my office window right now. Our journey takes us about two miles uphill to the top of Banner Ridge. We were at negative two degrees and now we have the sun shining. It's gonna be beautiful out here, it's amazing. Dieta Peterson has worked as the yurt coordinator for eight years. She's in phenomenal shape, taking frequent treks to the yurt to perform a deep cleaning, something she tries to do once every three weeks. That entails completely wiping everything down, restocking everything, making certain that everything is in operable order, and um, basically making certain that the next person who comes in is happy. Basically, she's an extreme housekeeper, and guests who visit the yurt can help out by doing their part to clean up after themselves. There's a sign in the yurt that says, leave it better than you found it. Consider the next person that's coming up. Or a better way of putting it is pay it forward. You know, if you show up and it's in great condition, make sure the next person gets to have the same opportunity. This area also features park and ski with groomed trails at four different trailheads for snowshoeing and cross country skiing. But safety and planning needs to be part of the equation, especially if you're lucky enough to reserve a yurt, which can be difficult with how popular they become. I direct them to our website, which has information on the road conditions, the weather conditions, basically things that will keep you safer, like staying in the yurt if it's going to be a big storm. I had a reservation last week and it snowed so much that Brendan Jones and I decided not to even try to go to the yurt. And even though we had a shovel and backed into the parking lot, we needed an extra push. Yes! <laughs> yes! From an ITD snowplow. Keep going, Steve, keep going. Driver to get out. Thank you so much, sir. No problem. Chains certainly would have helped yeah. in this scenario. It's been an hour. And this shows how weather can be a major factor. Thank you so much. It is a backcountry yurt experience. Backcountry is in the title. One week later, Dieta and I experienced amazing weather. Peterson, Patterson, Parks and Rec. I shoveled and chopped wood while she got the yurt cleaned up and ready to go. I love my job. I love the act. I love the <laughs> how hard it is. I love the work. I love just being out in the mountains, yeah. Steve Dent, Auto News 6.